All right, just gonna give you a quick video here on how to figure out the height of your shooter. So for bullet hole number one, you'll notice that it was 78 inches off the ground and the footprint that was um, away from the wall was 57 inches. You took some time to look at the hole and you divided the minor axis by the major axis and you took those two uh, numbers after dividing them and you took the inverse sign to get an angle and that angle came out to 71 degrees. So that's the angle of impact. When we look at, when we actually look at the bullet hole on the wall, the angle of impact, the angle that the bullet came in at in relation to the wall was 71 degrees. That's called the impact angle, okay? Now, if you know the impact angle is 71 and you know that the wall and the floor make a 90 degree angle, you can subtract 71 and 90 from 180. And when you do that, you get 19, okay? So that's how we got the angle of elevation, meaning when you look at the shooter, his arm is elevated or her arm is elevated and that angle that they're shooting at is 19 degrees in relation to the floor. That's the angle of elevation. So if you look at this diagram, you'll see we've got the bullet height length from the floor. We've got the footprint distance. We've got some cool pieces of information here that's gonna help us figure out the height of the shooter. So the next step is to figure out the height of that shooter we have to take the tangent of the angle of elevation, which in this case was 19. And when we do that, that's gonna equal y over the distance the footprint was from the wall. In other words, the length of this leg of the triangle, 57 inches. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is y? Well, y is gonna be that little section right there. That's the height of the y-axis, or in other words, how far down from the bullet hole on the wall are we coming to make, right, this the opposite leg from that 19 degree angle. And that's gonna come into play here in just a second. So, tangent of 19 is 0.344. To get y by itself, because this is y over 57, y over the footprint distance, I'm gonna multiply both sides by 57, as you can see right here. 57 and 57 cancel out. It gives me y all by itself. 57 times 0.344 gives me this. Oh, 19.6 inches is what y is it gonna equal. This height right here is 19.6 inches. Okay, well, what do I do with that? Well, because I know the height of the bullet is 78 inches, right, you guys went out there in the hall, you measured the heights of the bullet, bullets. We can subtract that Y, that 19.6, from the 78, the height of the bullet. And that's gonna give us the shoulder height, the approximate shoulder height of the shooter. So you'll see here, kind of an approximate shoulder height of the shooter. And of course, we add eight inches for the head, which gives us a total height in inches for the shooter. So you'll see we've done that here. There's the height of the shoulders. There's the height of the head. Gives us a total height of 66.4 inches for the shooter. Well, of course, we don't measure people in just inches. We like to measure in feet here. And so we divide by 12 to get to feet. And that gives us 5.5 feet. But remember, 0.5 of a foot does not mean 5 feet 5 inches. 0.5 of a foot is half of a foot. So I'm going to go and multiply 0.5 or whatever decimal you get for the other ones here. If this was 0.3, you would multiply 12 by 0.5 in this case, or 0.3 or whatever you get, to figure out how many inches you have to add to that five feet. Well, in this case, it's five feet, right? We know we had the five feet right here. And then I'm gonna add that six inches. 
So we are able to figure out five foot six inches is the height of our shooter with this information here.